Hello and welcome everyone to my first look at Stranded Alien Dawn, a new survival simulator slash city builder where four survivors must face an alien planet all on their own. Well, with my help, so they probably wish they were on their own. There is an array of survivors to choose from with different backstories, traits, and skill levels that will affect their survival, so choose your team carefully. One dud could doom them all. I highly recommend playing through the tutorials. It will take about an hour to complete them all, but it was a fantastic way to learn the game mechanics and what to expect for future seasons. Unfortunately, one was bugged and I could never get it to complete the plant the field check mark, even though I planted so many fields. So be warned, this is still in early access and is certainly not in its complete state. What it does have though has been great fun, providing a meaty enough tech tree where you can go from peasant camp to a small thriving village with electricity, traps to protect your four survivors against the swarm, and a world that is ripe for exploration, treacherous at times, and interesting to play. At the end of the day for me, this was a day to remember. A day all about Ken. In my opinion, the absolute best survivor in the game, and ultimately his struggle to survive the game's most dangerous obstacle. Me. All right, this is my selection of survivors. I looked through all of them, and I think this is going to be a good mix between a little bit of brains and a little bit of brawn. So first, we have Daniel Shanks, who is a space archaeologist, kind of old, to be fair, for this expedition. But that's okay. He's knowledgeable. He's wise. Daniel is brilliant, most caring, and passionate. The type of person who would give his own life for someone he doesn't even know. His traits are genius, which means he has occasional insights that boost the current research progress. That's going to matter because his intellect is actually not very low, it's 5, so that's very good. He's going to be my researcher. However, he will not fight or hunt in any circumstances. Combat, incapable. So a little bit worrying there, but what I'm hoping is he's interested in healing, so I'm going to make him a researcher and I'm going to make him our doctor. The other brain part of the operation is Rita. Ibori. Ibori. I'm sure I'm butchering that. I love her. I loved her description. I loved her spirit. Her traits are also pretty cool. She has a natural curiosity, which means she has a chance to observe unknown species during expeditions, which is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to send her on some of those. And also she has a cheerful personality, which permanently increases her happiness. She's also a great farmer at level six. That's very, very good. And she's interested in cooking. So I was thinking of making her my, my farmer, of course, and a possible chef. Now, on to our brawn. And for the person that I think might be the best survivor in all of these characters, Ken is a bloodthirsty marauder, of course. Brought up on a world in constant wars. Like most of his friends, Ken finished high school and trained to be a soldier. Young and feisty, he prefers giving rather than taking orders, however, and after just a handful of military operations, he was discharged for insubordination. <laughs> Get him, Ken. Since the age of 18, he has found his place among the ruthless gangs of space marauders. He has experienced scavenger, which means he finds more scrap during metal scavenge operations and expeditions. Really, really good. I'm sure we're going to need a ton of scrap metal. He also has bloodlust, which he gains happiness when killing or observing death. I can't imagine how this is not amazing. His combat is also pretty good. It's at 7. His physicality is at 4. And he's interested in crafting, which also probably will help me a lot. And now we come to Nova Zones. Guys, I honestly picked her because she looks really good. Not a very smart lady. Her combat skill is really decent though, and her physicality is also pretty decent, as well as her healing. Her healing is at 5, so she can really be our doctor. So at least we have two doctors, a little bit of a backup system. The only problem I have with this lineup is that I don't have a construction person. But this is going to be my first time playing, so I think it might be okay. Uh, we'll see how bad I get myself nerfed by not having a constructor. Oh, they're not happy. They're trying to calm down. Oh, everything's going wrong. Everything's going wrong for them. Okay, if we take a look around. Oh, there's beautiful areas here. There's water right there. The land is super flat and we also have water here. This is actually a really nice location, I think. 
We might start out right here. Like, just plop it down, you know? Settle down with the camp. It all started out so well. I placed down a shelter and some beds for my brave group of survivors. Set up some priorities so they would get to work to the best of their abilities. They were working hard. Cutting and transporting all we would need to get this camp underway. Rita was observing Bush. Ken was scrapping the remnants of our ship. And I was even benevolent enough to give them time to sleep that night. After a day, our camp was coming along. We had a nice sleeping area, some storage underway, a way to cook our food, research our science, a workshop to craft some goods, and even a brand new table. No more eating while standing up. Progress. Daniel was slow at researching, and like Rita before him, obsessed with observing Bush. However, all that observing did unlock the ability to plan new things, so I had Rita start up on our garden. Daniel was still observing Bush. But I was most happy with Ken, who was scavenging for elite goods. <gasps> he has a laser pistol! Oh, he has a laser pistol that he got from that ship! Oh, Ken, you beautiful beast. Okay, never mind. We have a weapon. We have a weapon. Daniel, you failed me, but Ken, you're on top of things. We have aggressive animals. Oh, right there. Back. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving, guys. We're moving. Oh, this is good. Ken's an actual assassin. I mean, he does have to get within the perimeter, so that's like a thing. But I think we can do it. So you just right-click and take it there. I think we can do this. And this is probably going to provide me with some stuff, right? Like, at least food, I would assume. These guys have to have some meat in them. Oh, Ken is probably getting so happy. Oh, yeah. Observe death right here. Oh, don't get bitten. Don't get bitten. Don't get bitten. Miss. Okay, so it's not a guarantee hit. Maybe he has to get better at damaging, but oh my, I think that worked out just nicely. <gasps> that thing is huge on health compared to the other ones. Keep going, keep going. This Dimorphodon is mine. I gonna say, it does look like a little bit like a Dimorphodon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Kill all of them. We still have two, two more to go. And we'll click here. All these years of StarCraft and RTS have helped me micromanage the murder of these insects. And I'm very pleased about it, to be honest. This is exactly what I needed in my life. And now Ken has observed so much death that he is the happiest. I'm telling you, Ken is by far the best character in this game. It's not even a question. We continue to improve our base, moving on to a cooking station, and laying out the future setup for our little camp. That's when I decided to send Nova on an ill-fated mission, her first hunt. It was not her fault, per se, but it did start a chain of events that would lead to our demise. She's doing great. One more, one more. Okay, very good. She's not gathering. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're being attacked. Nova's fleeing. Oh, that's a lot of animals. That's a lot of aggressing animals. That is so many. Ken, Ken, come help her. Ken, 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 Ken. Ken, 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 come here. Nova, please run. She's gonna come over here. Meet up with Ken. You guys have work to do. We're gonna murder these. Great. I need a spear. I need a spear on poor Nova. You keep hitting them, Ken. You keep hitting them. I'm just gonna run around in circles here. Alright. Alright. That was our first attack. And honestly, we were not ready. Our defenses were not ready. Alright. 
I wonder if we can dodge. I don't think we can. Oh, they're gonna need to wait for treatment. Rita, I hope you're ready. And Daniel to help them. Where's he going? Are you kidding me? There's more! Um... Shit! Daniel's running! Nova, you need to help! You need to help! You're the only defense we have! Oh no, my people! My people! Daniel's just fleeing. <laughs> no, 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 Nova, 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 Nova. Okay, help her, help her, help her. Okay, they're just gonna have to fight here while I get Ken to come back. Ken, come back, come back, come back, come back, Ken. I don't know if he's still butchering that guy, but Ken, please make it back home. Daniel's running around for his life. That's okay, that's okay. Nova's still alive somehow. Bleeding out in 16 hours. Oh my god, there's a freaking... There's a freaking disaster going on here. I need to be able to make a spear. Medical emergency on Ken. Ken! Ken, no! Oh, Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh my god, guys. Undraft them. They're all awaiting treatment. Who is going to heal them all? Heal. Oh, he can heal them. He can heal them. Okay, okay, maybe you don't need a bandage. Maybe the bandage is just to heal them better. Ken! Ken! No, Ken! No, Ken! <gasps> Ken. All right, take two. Like, it never happened. Ken, my boy, you're gonna be back. Don't worry. Each 20, you died way too young. We're gonna keep Nova because I feel like they're a good combat team, but we got rid of our boy, guys. Our old man. Well, not really so old, but, you know, our passionate space archaeologist, Daniel. He was combat incapable, and that meant that he couldn't really fight whenever we were getting attacked. I don't know if that had anything to do with the fact that we died. Probably not. But I'm going to say that didn't help. Right, so we're just gonna get rid of him, sadly. Nova will be now our healer, so I think that makes sense. Quinn is a constructor, which I think is really good and it's something we were missing. He's also a decent-ish crafter, plus his intellect is interested. So I'm gonna have him do the research. He's gonna be a little bit slower than the other one, but I'm gonna hope that his construction skill kind of pulls it through a bit. I mean, it's not great, it's not the perfect lineup, but it'll give me a little bit more diversity. Now, I don't have a dedicated researcher now. So that's a little bit problematic. But I did notice that Rita, half the time she wasn't doing anything. Because cooking and farming is kind of intermittent. So I'm going to hope that she can do some of the researching. Maybe Quinn can do some of the researching when he's not constructing. And then Nova and Ken will murder. And hopefully they'll help with some of the crafting and some of that. So that's the new lineup. Daniel has been thrown to the pastures. I am so sorry. But we have just one replacement, which is Quinn. I think this is going to work. It is definitely going to work. Let's pretend the last run did not happen. Oh, as all survival games start with a plane crash. I went ahead and used the same map that I used last time. I'm just using a map that I called Nerdland. Oh, there goes the other one. And luckily, this is the same thing, the same setup that we had going on before. So I'm going to hope that they're able to survive. Maybe this time I will just plant them over... How many of these are there? Maybe this time I will just plant them right here. Let's do a little bit of... Oh my god, he's crying Quinn already! Poor Quinn. He just can't believe it. He can't believe he's in here. Don't worry. The thing that happened to Ken won't happen to you this time. I am prepared. I am prepared this time around, surely. Now, if you notice here, there is little bars. This is like the pause w would be space bar. Then one, two, three will speed up the time. So that's like kind of important. You can also tell that we're in spring. There's different seasons. So like as it gets colder, we'll have different challenges, of course. Staying warm being the main one. But also, you know, shelter and other things that you need during the winter. However, there's advantages to the winter too. Which we will talk about it when we get there, I suppose. We also have our stuff here. All our supplies that came from the crash. So we have apparently a weapon that we can give to somebody. And I'm going to give it to Ken. I didn't know he had the weapon for a really long time last time, so that didn't help. We also have medicine, which also I didn't know, and that's how Ken died in the first place. <laughs> and we also have a little bit of food. The cooked meals are emergency rations, which last forever, basically. But we want to we try not to eat those right away. We want to try to get our cooking going. 
so that we don't have to eat all of those and we can keep them kind of as a backup. And I think I'll, other than that, I will try to explain some of these things to you. So basically the orders here are you can cut, collect, attack, and do other things where you can select all these, for example. And you can select to cut, you can select to harvest or observe. So these are things that you can do. These are berries, of course. You can do the same to trees. You see, you can select the cut. And everything can be researched. So my researcher that is non-existent, but probably is going to end up being Rita and Quinn, are going to observe around all the different things so that we can craft and we can make new things. We can plant things that we can't plant right now, etc., etc. So all the fauna and the flora around this planet will be researched. And then hopefully that opens up more possibilities for us. But as far as it goes for a camp, we have several options. We have shelters, we have sleeping spots, we have <gasps> graves. I really hope we don't have to put one of these. I feel bad Ken didn't even have the chance to have a grave last time. We have storages, of course. We have production here. And most importantly, we have science. This is one of the things that I started kind of late last time, which I'm not going to make that mistake this time. The research desk is very, very important. And if we can get this going as soon as possible, that will help. Uh, we also have defense, which is something I really didn't focus on last time. And that means that we have poles, we have um, wooden fences and other things like that. And as far as it goes, we also have management, which is I think this is probably the most important tab for my little survivors. We have the research tab, which means that we can research all of this in the research table, right? So if we look over here, we have resources, we have power, we have defense, we have construction, and we have breakthroughs. I gotta get this one going as soon as possible, the weaponsmithing, because it will allow me to make a bow, a crossbow, and a spear, which are basically key for survival. Uh, if we don't have these, then, you know, we have the one pistol, but this helps a lot. So, as far as that goes, we will get going on all these, and I will try to explain as much as possible what I'm doing. But first, we need to sign up our activities, and most importantly, our schedule. Last time I was quite lax, guys. I mean, my guys got to rest a lot. But they do need sleep, they have working time, they have relaxed time, and they have anything time, which I guess they do like any of the activities that they have to do. So we're going to go ahead and put sleep. We'll start at 2200, and we'll go all the way to like, I don't know, 5 a.m. This is a large amount of sleep, as you can see. I'm being too gentle, too wise. We'll also put a little relaxed time right here. We'll put an anything time right there before they go to sleep. And I guess we could also do like a little relaxed time around noon. And then maybe a little anything time like right there. Now this is not, oops, <laughs> it's not perfect, but I think it works pretty well. Um, They do have a nice amount of work time, so they're not going to be useless. And that's going to help set us up. If we go back to our management, we can see that there's activities too. And the activities will allow us to basically define what each person does depending on their skill. So, Ken is my fighter, mostly, as you know, the dead one. <laughs> but he doesn't heal very well, so we're going to remove that. We're going to have him handle things. That he will do tasks around the town and stuff, so that's going to be pretty good. And let me actually, you know what? Let me set them up, and then I will explain how I set them up and why I set them up that way. I think that will make more sense. All right, so this is the layout for now. What I'm going to have Ken do is he's going to handle things. So, like, this basically means that they can move things around. They can carry things, dismantle things, etc. Uh, so Ken can be used for that. So can Nova. So can Rita. The reason why Quinn has so little is because I need him to focus a little bit on the research at the start. So I'm going to make sure that he doesn't have a lot of other stuff to do. Uh, the construction, I guess Quinn is pretty good at it. But I will have everybody work on construction just so Quinn doesn't have to be the only one doing it. Rita is also doing research just in case because we will have to go around observing a lot of plants and stuff and... That could actually mess things up for Quinn. So she's going to help him out at least until we get all the other stuff ready. But basically she's going to focus on the cooking. She's going to focus on the planting. And she's going to focus on the harvesting. Nova is going to do all the other activities that we need her to do. She's going to cut trees. Uh, she's going to mine. She's going to... Oh, she doesn't cook. <laughs> she's going to craft. Uh, she's going to obviously heal because she is the healer. And handle things, construct things, hunt. All of that. So she's very versatile. And Ken, basically, I'm going to use him as kind of our, our damage. He's going to hunt. He's basically going to kill things. He's going to also scavenge because he has the ability that he resource gathers twice as much from scavenging. So he's really, really good at scavenging. And I'm thinking, just to begin, let's go ahead and set up our camp. Now, I did have it set up here before, and it was beautiful, but I'm thinking it was too close to this gross area. 
So maybe that was a bit problematic. I do like some of this area around here. Obviously, I like some of the area around there. But I think just to keep it a little bit clean, a little bit easy, let's set it up right here. Let's just go ahead and plop a little house right there. And then we're also going to need to plop a bed. So I'm going to go ahead and put one down. Now, to make multiples, there's a couple ways to do it. But I have found out that you can hold shift and you can just lay the other one down. It is amazing. Glorious indeed. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. We could go ahead and put three in one side or we could leave a little space. Uh, but I have noticed that whenever you connect another thing to this, this thing opens. So it's a little bit weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. So I suppose we could just go like this. And then we can just do another storage or rather another shelter. Rotate with R, of course, and we can place it there. And we can lay down another sleeping cot. Oh, if you want to lay it down without doing shift, you can also select it here. And you can see how it says copy. You can copy it that way. I'm pretty sure you can also use like quick commands that you have in there. But for now, we're going to use the interface just so it's a little bit easier to tell. Now, the reason why I left this here is because now we can actually do something with this space. Uh, it's a little bit close to this, but I think we can do something with this. Maybe a little bit of storage or something like that. And I think that's going to work quite well. Now, we're going to have them fix that, but I also want to get going on the campfire. But before we get going on the campfire, we're going to have to chop down some trees. I think we're going to need some resources. So to chop down trees, it's actually really simple. You just select them. Select like a couple here. And we'll just press cut. Nova should be going there in no time to get them cut. I'll have him scavenge here. That should be just um, Ken. I don't think anybody else will do that. In the meantime, though, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of storage there. Just so they have somewhere to put the stuff. And it'll be indoors, right? There'll be a little hut over here. So this is great. Nice. There's a lot of people constructing. Very, very nice indeed. Quinn is still crying. Quinn, my man, get up, please. We don't want an incident to happen again. Not like this. Not like this. All right, we're going to get more shelter going. This is quite important, so I'm going to make sure that I get all of this all of this going as soon as possible. I think we're going to leave a little bit of space between them. And then over here, we're going to put another shelter. I'm just going to make it like a little square town. It just makes it a lot easier, I think, probably to get around. And we're going to leave a little bit of a gap between this and this. So they have a little bit of an easier time going back and forth. So there we go. We're going to have another one done. And that's so I can get myself my first production. Or rather, my research table. I can't deal with it, guys. Last time I didn't have one and it was miserable. So we'll put the research table right there. They're going to have to go around next time. But I think that's okay. That's acceptable, I'd say. Because we're also going to need a workbench right here. So as long as they're getting stuff done, I'm feeling really good about this. Nice. Rita is already researching. That's exactly what I want to see. Everybody's eating the rations, so this is very important that we get Ken, like, hunting as soon as possible. So we're going to go over here to his inventory. You can click them, and then they have all these options. They have the overview of his happiness, his health, his tolerance, everything. And they're all different for every character, so it's kind of cool. Um, but he also has his health, right? Like, everything's working. <gasps> Smoke and elation. Oh my god, he's been out there way too long. Poor guy. All right, his happiness is all right. Look, they don't have a lot going on for them right now. But you can see here his ranged weapon. We do have a laser pistol that we were able to get from the wreckage. So we have that going for us. But as soon as this is done, we're going to need to make other stuff, of course. And then you have, like, all these other things. You have this here, which is restrictions, which is how we basically... Um, how do I put it? How we make them do whatever we need them to do. So it's very exciting, this part here, because it does let you control what they eat. So what I want to do for all of them just right away is remove the ability to eat raw food. And it's really cool because you can copy the restrictions and now you can go to all of them and paste the restrictions to every single one of them. So you don't have to do it the same way again. Now, I'd imagine that it's not, I mean, it's not that difficult to remove just raw food off of one of them. But if you're going to do like a whole change, you know, it's going to be much easier to do it this way. I wonder if I can make them butcher it while I have him selected. Because I, th I thought that you could only murder, but maybe you can butcher too. Oh my god, no, he's attacked something. Can you? Crazy beast. Okay, maybe we just sit there and attack him. This is faster than me. Lovely. I don't know what's going to happen to Ken. He's kind of bleeding. Healing Ken. Oh my god, Nova, you're such a G. She's doing it out of kindness of her heart. 
There you go. He saved. He saved. For now. After Ken's close call, I began making a perimeter around our camp. Ken must be protected at all costs. Well, it's the thought that counts. And all the way by 20. I think this is a nice little starting town. What do you guys think? And this time, hopefully we won't die. <laughs> we can hope. He's observing a squash-like plant, which is probably good. We are gonna need squash. I'm pretty sure that's a vegetable. Cause <gasps> These stupid birds, are they're eating the trees! Ken's going on a midnight murder spree. They're eating the freaking trees. Oh, he's got an infection? What? Oh no, not like this. Okay, that's good. What in the actual hell? We can't let him take all of this out. I have no idea what's wrong with him. He is probably not getting enough sleep. Can't just do not die on me again. I need to get him, like, a melee weapon. Yeah, he's got, like, a stupid little knife. Okay. He's happy, though. He's observing death, so he's very happy. He is in terrible shape. He's bleeding. He's moderate pain. He's conscious in 65%. Movement speed. Oh, this is all really bad. This all skull fracture? Shattered rib? Oh, Ken. Oh, he's the worst. I take it back. Ken is not the best. He's the actual worst. Oh, look at the amount of berries. This is nuts. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be making these many berries. This is a lot. There's a lot of berries. Okay, she's doing it. She's doing it. Oh, Nova. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Rita is cooking away, man. We're thriving. Alright, he's been treated. He has so many issues. That's the problem. So many issues. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Rita, 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 Rita. Get out of there. Get out of there. Not like this! Not again. Oh, my God. Draft them all to attack, please. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on. Nova is just fleeing away. I need to make them weapons. I need to make them so much stuff. They're in so much trouble. Look, they're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. They're not that dead. This is fine. This is fine. Are they all going to sleep tonight? Of course they are. Ken is gonna die again. Oh my god, please save him. Save him, Nova. Please, everything he has, he's just broken everywhere. I mean, everybody else is also bleeding to death, but. You know, we're doing what we can. We can only treat one at a time. She just needs to make herself some bandages as soon as possible. Okay, she's treating Rita, too. Let's go. Ken is gonna die on us again, isn't he? <gasps> no, Ken! <laughs> no, Ken! <laughs> oh, oh, why? Why? Alright. Never give up, never surrender. We are going again. Here we are. Everybody's fine. Quinn is crying again. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're pausing. We know what to do. I've decided to go with something different. I'm putting the shelters back to back. And it seems to open them up quite a bit. So I feel like that's gonna look really, really nice. And if we really want to, we could also put one facing this way. And I think it would close it off there. So that could look really, really good, I feel. And then our camp is going to be mostly indoors. I mean, I might be going crazy by thinking about it this way. I don't know if it's going to look good either with the roof. Uh, but I think so. I mean, it's, it doesn't look terrible. Yeah, it could work. It could work for sure. All right. This is the setup now for my priorities. I think I'm just going to leave Quinn just doing the research. Because he's a little bit behind on everything, so... I'm gonna make sure that this time around he is not. And I will have him observe that right away. And oh no. Rita just took a big be why? That's nutty. How did this start so poorly? <laughs> Never lucky. 
I can't believe that landed on her. That is so unlucky. I mean, I guess she's healed. Yeah, she healed herself. Okay, that's fine. Quinn, stop idling. There's research to be done. And in fact, I think I'm gonna work on some fences, even though, like, I know we can go with the with the pole fence, but I want to have some wooden fences and some of this stuff going. Maybe just stick ones. It doesn't matter. But I need some defenses this time around. I'm not having them die like ugh, I'm not having them die like last time. They're constructing. They're constructing away. I swear to you, Ken will survive this time around. <laughs> He's gonna survive if it's the last thing I do. Is this a lot? Yes. <laughs> but I can't deal with it again. I can't deal with dying in the way, in the manner in which I have died. I just cannot. Right, weaponsmithing is at 11%. I have no idea what Quinn's up to. Oh, he's observing the bush. Okay, well, I'll be honest. It's not the end of the world. I kind of need him to do that. Uh, the problem is that I don't have enough people observing bush. Oh, wow. There's so many animals here. Just dead. Look at all these guys. The little gassy boys. Somebody's been out here on a killing spree and... I mean, really, this is... I'll take it. <laughs> let's make all the meat. Well, let's make all the meat. I wish I could do something to, you know, kind of preserve it, but... I mean, we'll take it for now. Uh, there's also some vegetables that I saw here when I first landed. Did somebody snatch them? Yeah, there's some here. Alright, we're gonna go get them. Somebody observe those and get ready to cut, because I think something's eating them. Infection moderate. What the hell is this? Oh, those birds are pecking at my trees. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get some work done here. <laughs> they're, they're working on the house, though. As you can see, our little compound is growing. It's looking alright. I'm going mostly indoor this time, and I am hoping for the best. As far as it goes, I'm gonna make a little bit more shelter here. Oh, I think that's, that's gonna look nice there, I think. And that's just gonna make it so that hopefully that will all be enclosed. I won't have to worry about anybody, you know, shopping in there. I don't think they'll fit through here. I'm gonna go with no, so... Hoping for the best. <laughs> and we can keep expanding this like a big gallery, if that makes any sense. We could also expand it on this side and kind of make it, like, kind of even. You know, make it look good. Because if you look with the roof up... It's like a little, it's like a little compound, yeah? And it obviously needs to have an entrance, so... That's where that's gonna go, but I think we can work on the rest here. Storage shelves, wooden storage, and we'll put it all along the side here. That's a big gallery, I suppose. And what we can do is on this side, we can put stuff like kitchen or whatever else we're missing. We're missing a couple more productions. Get yeah, like the drying rack and all of those, so we'll, we'll do those later. But storage is probably pretty important that we get going. Yeah, they're having trouble getting in. I think maybe they'll be able to go around now. I, th I hope so. <laughs> Rita's trapped. Ken is cutting. We'll have him get the spear really quickly. Quinn. Yep, observe that. Please observe that. I want that squash. I think having a little farm of squash is going to be lovely. Aggressive animal 16. Oh, there they come. There they come. Ken. Ken, this is your moment. This is your time. Go get yourself a weapon. All right. Me and Ken, man. Me and Ken. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, my god. Ken! Alright, alright, alright. We're doing it. <gasps> we did it, we did it! I don't like how they just flee instead of defending. I, I don't understand why they don't attack. It's fine. Look, the traps are good. Uh, let's just arm them again eventually and we'll be good. We have to go sit by the fire. Uh, Nova is going to have to treat Ken, I think. Nova, please. Treat Ken. Heal Ken. And she's grabbing the bandage. She's healing Ken. There's still gonna be no issues. I have no idea what happened to Quinn. Oh, Quinn is still being chased around! Quinn! 
I mean, he killed it, I think. Finally, so that's something. He never finished observing that. Oh, Quinn. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. Look, Ken is not dead. So that's something. Quinn is having, like, a meltdown right now. He is so far from home. That's the problem. He's gonna get a bandage. Oh, there she goes. Okay, good. He was so injured. The poor man. Quinn's hanging on by a thread. Oh, there we go. Heal him. Please heal him. Alright, he's on the mend. He's on the mend. Recovering. Oh, I can't believe they're all making it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no! Sleep parasite and unknown parasite is causing me fatigue and drowsiness. For now, there is no cure. Of course it is, you can. But a skilled healer may be able to think of something. Alright. Harvest all of these veggies. And I'm hoping that once I get these going here, the buttermelon, uh, we're going to be able to maybe plant it ourselves. And that's going to be a new source of food. So that's going to be nice. All right, we're going to learn hay cloth next because, you know, we can turn hay into cloth. That cannot be bad. And then maybe pickling too. So if we could pickle vegetables, that would be really, really nice. And this here should give me hay, which is really, really neat. I can go ahead and grab a bunch of that. Maybe cut it down. And I believe I should be able... Yeah, giant grass fields gives me hay. That's really, really nice. Okay, let's start building some sort of a farm over here as soon as we can. And as far as farms go, I guess we can see if we can put some buttermelon. We'll plop it, like, right there. And that's gonna be a nice little farm right there. And then we can maybe make another farm on the other side with the giant grass. It's not, like, the sexiest thing I've ever seen, but it will do. And how big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Oh, symmetry. Don't mind the non-symmetry here, but that's... We couldn't do anything about that. <laughs> Very nice. So she's gonna plant them over here. That's gonna be great when she gets back. She has plenty of time, so we'll have plenty of grass to make cloth. And we'll have plenty of vegetables out of the butter squash or whatever it is. Which should be good. I, I'm guessing it'll make something, right? It'll make something delicious. And then as far as it goes, oh, we can make ourselves some veggie soup. I'm gonna wait till she plants. And then we'll look into making the veggie soup. Because apparently it just can be used with any of these. Uh, in the meantime, let's make more of this soup. They're thriving. I am so pleased. I'm waiting for the next attack just to see how bad it is. Uh, let's cut that wood too. Research spaceship deconstruction to unlock salvaging. Okay. We're gonna have to do that one next, I think. We're doing the hay cloth and we're doing the pickling. Because I think it's fine. Insect fats. Spaceship deconstruction. There you go. And then maybe move on to construction basics. I mean, this is a really nice little town. And we have survived our first attack. I'm just waiting to see if we survive our second attack. And then we'll move from there. There they are. Ken needs to catch them, like, really far away, I think. Where are the aggressive animals? I see them. Okay. Ken, please. Please, you have one job. You have one job. Do not let them get to camp. He's gonna do it, guys. He's gonna do it. For the first time ever, Ken will perform. Here he comes. Very nicely done, Ken. This is very good. This is very good. We're approaching through the corner. Very nice. We'll go through the bottom here. Oh, never mind. I love these little bugs because they do kind of die with one shot, so it's very good. Go over here. Very nice. Are we going to get them all? This is a lot of meat. kind of feel like I need to make some drying racks and maybe hope that that's going to be a lot better. Yeah, dude. That's perfect. <gasps> that's lovely. If you double click them, it'll select all the bugs near them. That's cool. All right. And we have so much stone here. I never realized. I'm worried about Rita not harvesting or planting these, but she's probably really busy. I have her doing a lot of stuff, but they've made it. They've made it. Look at them. They're all butchering things. Lovely. I think just in case, just in case, let's pause and let's go ahead and make some drying racks. Nice little drying rack right there. And I wonder if we can make another one. For the future production of things. And I can't imagine making the small one. It doesn't even make any sense. 
Let's just make the big ones. Yeah, girthy drying racks. And I think we can even probably enclose this area more. But I like the idea of this being kind of a little bit safer for now. We'll add the bigger walls later. And we'll go from there. I like this. Even though we don't have the construction to make ourselves a house, this is <laughs> this is as close to a house as we're going to get. It's so cool. I love it. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. I was about to say, I could just cancel everything else and make her just plant, but I think this is going to be better. Very good. Okay, so this is nice. This is going to be the grass that we need for the cloth, which is very necessary, of course. And then this is going to be all my vegetables. We're going to need a lot of pumpkins. Ken is amazing. He just scavenged so much medicine. Oh, that is just lovely. That is just beautiful. I love you so much, Ken. I love you so much. I'm sorry that I talk so much shit about you. I mean, he did die a little bit. A lot. But other than that, he's been doing wonderfully. New research tea boiling with smoke leaves. Oh, lovely. We can make ourselves some tea. Let's harvest those. Oh, we're going to have to expand our farm quite a bit, I think. But it should work. We're going to expand backwards, I think. If we can. So we have fruit that we can put up here. Yeah, look how nice it is up there. Nice and lush. Also down here. So we have like a little bit of an extra area where we can put a house and stuff if we need to in the future. But for now, let's start making the farms going up. There you go. Oh, Nova has a spear. Very nice. Quinn has no spear. I am trying to craft them some stuff. Short bows as well. Need to get those going. <gasps> they can have that happen? <laughs> oh, wow. Raw smoke leaf is uh, drying right now. Maybe for tea or something. I didn't know they could have that. How do you repair it? Cancel repair this? No, no, of course. Repair it. Oh, another one. Thunderstorm is dangerous. <laughs> Alright, guys. But I think everybody's fine. Look, everybody's thriving. We're doing okay in terms of, like, our our area. Of course, I would like to expand this a bit more. I just wanted to make sure that they were going to stay alive. And then we're going to start working on our perimeter, which means we're going to need to cut all these trees. There's going to be so much tree annihilation. We're going to be able to survive this, I think. I, I finally understand. Like, security is paramount. And I really do like this little layout that I've done. This little, like, home situation happening here. Summer should be upon us. And we will have no problem. I don't foresee. Well, you never know. You know what? Maybe we'll lose Ken again. But uh, this was a rough start. And we still managed. So never give up. Never surrender. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first look at Stranded Alien Dawn. It was fun trying to keep my little camp together, and I honestly feel like we're getting the hang of it. We're finally understanding. Most of it is really just knowing what you need and do the tutorial. Do the tutorial. It was very, very, very important. As well as, you know, get some security, get yourself some weapons, everything in its order. And you can get a little bit screwed, it seems, from the different attacks, but for the most part, if you keep up with some of the basics, your people will be happy enough to keep pushing your survival forward. Thanks again. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye.